Good morning all. This is Livano Lux TV backlighting set which I got from Lidl and it was 30% off. Now why would you want to put backlighting LEDs on your TV? I know you can get those Philips tellies but those ones light up the same color as what's on the screen. This one you set the color with the remote control so if you're watching a fast paced action movie it's going to be a lot of work to try and follow the approximate colour on the screen and apply it to the backlighting set. Nevertheless, let's open this up and take a look at it. Break the seal and we're in. What have we got inside here? So what have we got? Well we've got the LED light strips and there's a USB plug on them. They've all got individual little connectors. We've got interconnecting cables uh, three interconnecting cables with I guess they're male connectors and then in this bag there are some little interconnections which are male to male like the cables but not as long that's weird look at this thing that's a sticker <laughs> why would you want a sticker to replace this sticker here see it's the same shape that goes around there why would you want to seal this box back up? That's really strange. Here's the remote. It's got a little pull tab on it, so that should be up and running right now. Let's put some USB on this and see if it works. So these strips all the same length. They do appear to be all the same length. Those three are. And then this one. Yeah, they've all got the same. Oh, well, actually, no, this one looks a bit. Oh, no, maybe it's the same length. I don't know. But this one has got the USB cable on it and also that and that looks like a little infrared is this infrared yes it's infrared uh, receiver on it and on the board here there is a microcontroller there and three transistors which presumably drive the three lines to these RGB LEDs let's power it up so does anything happen when you switch on the USB? Yes. The LEDs come on in a sort of white colour. And all the functions work on this remote control. Off, on, brightness down. That works. Brightness up. Uh, red, green, blue. And then all these other colours all work yellow purple and then we've got a uh, flash which seems to flash between the 16 colors is my guess strobe not sure what that does probably doesn't do any oh yes it is doing something slow flash maybe fade does that do a fade oh it's doing something oh yes it's moving from blue to red so that does something and smooth that also does something so yeah all the functions work on the remote control and that sensor which is pointing in the opposite direction seems to be quite sensitive on either side so now let's try one of these connecting blocks so that's the end of the illuminated section let's plug that into there oh it's a bit tight oh it's too tight why won't that go in Oh yeah, it's gone in. And then plug that into the beginning of the next section, just checking that all the labels match up. Yeah, these are just turned pin uh, IC sockets. So yeah, that works um, with the little connectors. Or of course you could use the little, what are these, one foot, 300 millimeter-ish uh, connecting cables. You could use them as well. Now what would happen if you put this connector on the wrong way around, which is entirely possible to do well we've got positive here running to positive there and then we've got R, G, and B so they must be uh, grounding pulls so you pull each of the R, G, and B to ground there are three resistors next to each LED uh, so that you are not pulling positive directly to ground now if you swap this over you're going to put positive straight on blue um, what would that do red and green will simply swap over yes blue would attempt to pull 
positive to ground because there's no intervening resistor so that could kill the blue channel it could yeah so here in the manual it says connect the lead strip one using one of the two connection options choose between the flexible connector or the direct connector when connecting the pole on the led strip marked plus must be on the side of the flexible connector marked with the arrow ensure the correct polarity uh, but it doesn't say anything about it will be destroyed if you don't do that so i'm just going to connect up the final piece of LED strip because you do get four pieces and there are all the LEDs going through one of their smooth fades and now I've put it on the flash pattern and I can see that we've got red, green, blue, red and green, green and blue, uh, red and blue, green and blue, red, green and blue. So eight different combinations, seven different combinations actually. Shall we have a close-up look at one of these LEDs? Let's uh, bring that down, put my magnifying glass on there. Oh, we can't see that very well. Uh, let's make it dim. So that's on static white, uh, the dimmest setting. Can we see those LEDs? Um, well, you can see the colours in the sort of um, chromatic, no, not chromatic, it's a sort of uh, distortion through the lens very hard to get the camera to see oh that's perhaps the best I'm gonna get red green and blue it's obviously strobing because the camera's interfering with it I'm uh, just gonna try this exposure control oh yeah let's take that down to its minimum yeah how does that look that looks much better doesn't it we can actually see the red green and blue elements in there the three resistors going to the three LEDs are 201, 201 and 471. Now do you think the 471, the higher value resistor, is on green? Because green typically looks a lot brighter than the other two colours. So yeah, I'm guessing 471 is on green. Although they're laid out on the connector as grb or brg with red in the middle and the middle resistor is the 471 but i'm not sure that that means anything so there we are that was livano lux tv backlighting set but you don't have to use it just to backlight a tv you could use it for all sorts of things um for mood lighting four self adhesive led strips with a total length of two meters 16 six uh, single color options and adjustable brightness for color changing programs with adjustable speed usb connection with one meter cable easy to use remote control includes battery this item is for decorative lighting only do not use for room lighting or as a night light in other words don't leave it switched on for very long periods of time um, i think the original price was six pound 59 or something like that with 30 percent off it was four pounds something but i can't remember the exact amount and this is fun look uh it's on white if i turn the usb off it goes on and comes back to white if i put it on red and turn the usb off when you turn it back on it comes back and remembers the color so it must write that into the uh flash area and not flash the non-volatile e squared prom area of the microcontroller awesome i wonder how many write cycles that chip's got so let's switch it off with the off button. Uh, oh, that's interesting. When you do that, it briefly goes red before going off. Cheerio.